day 147. I uh, slept next to the river, so I didn't hear the sounds of mouse of mice ravaging my stuff. Uh, they only tore apart my carnation instant breakfast, so I guess that's not so bad, but that's my fault for leaving it on the ground. I didn't hang anything from trees or anything like I normally do because I was afraid it was going to rain last night, so I didn't want wet bags. I got everything underneath the tarp with me right now. But that was dumb because mice. Yeah, mice. Oh, well. Uh, I'm a little bit behind schedule, so at the top of this hill, I'm probably not catching a sunrise even if one happens, but I get let's try anyway, huh? I somehow doubt it leads to a peak or anything cool like that anyway, but I keep trying, man. I keep trying. Ah, oh, man. I don't want this to end. Getting too close. All right, stop being lazy. Pack up your shit. Maybe there's a sunrise. Maybe. Keep going. Okay, so it's straight uphill for about four and a half miles. Ah, there's no stars in the sky, which means heavy cloud cover. So more than likely there won't be a sunrise anyway, so screw it. Safety meetings are in order. I'm not in a hurry, man. I'm getting too close to the end to be in a hurry. Sure, I don't want to outrun snowstorms and stuff. Ran into a dude yesterday I haven't run into in a long time, and he's all stressed out. Like, no, I gotta get this done, I gotta get this done, man, snow's coming. And, you know, I have my normal cavalier attitude towards it. I'm like, nah, a little bit of snow happened, but it'd be just for ambiance, just to make nice pictures and stuff. Anything that happened will be adventurous. Anyway, I'm not allowed to die on this one. Yeah, maybe next year I'm allowed to die, but that will just make it for an exciting story. Nobody cares about successes. If I do all three, big fucking whoop, you know, a couple thousand of you will watch me on, on YouTube do it. You know, hopefully inspire some of you to do it and not die. But if I die, there's going to be book deals and movies. And we're definitely getting Rick Grimes to play me. I like I you know I really gotta see him play me first. I'm not I'm not an easy character to do. I don't know if he has that skill set. And I would love to see somebody do me just so I can see what an ass I really am in life. It's hard to it's hard to really you know see yourself. I look at myself through rose-colored glasses. I like what I see. But I would really like to be a fly on the wall when people talk about me. Or see somebody impersonate me. Because I've heard of people in the past that have done me impressions, but they've never done one for me. <sighs> I'm curious. But anyway, yeah, like I said, I'm not allowed to die on this one. That's for the next one. I'll probably live through it too, because that's just how shit goes. But if I die, I will be a success. <sighs> not by my standards, but <laughs> you know, by the rest of the world, I might be remembered. Not that I really give a shit about that. Uh, you know, when you're dead, what does it matter if you're remembered? You're dead. But it matters to some people. Let's we'll put a nightcrawler statue on one of these mountains. Well, maybe not one of these, because these aren't these aren't mountains you go over. I'd prefer something on the AT somewhere. That's a big bone. That it is. Wonder what it belonged to. Where's the rest of it at? Yeah, that's bone. Where's your skull? But where's the monster that ate you? Oh, somebody broke it open with a rock. Huh. Wouldn't mind finding a nice big horn sheep skull. Sure, it sucked to have to carry the thing out, but I'd probably still do it. Those little rodent things that squeak at you when you go by. Yesterday they were, you could tell they were just like chatting amongst themselves until one saw me and then he let out a little warning. And the other ones got quiet. And then as each one saw me, it made a squeak, I think to let the other ones know that it sees me where I'm at. That's why I was my best guess. So now I just heard them squeaking up a storm way up here and they, they don't see me yet. I'm nowhere near, so I'm like, what are they squeaking at? What else is prowling around out here with me?
I still find it amazing I don't run into animals on the trail. Are you talking about the tracks on the trail that they all use it at night? They gotta be annoyed with me. Like, fuck. The trail's ours at night. This guy's always on it. But yet I don't ever run into him. You think I'd come around a corner and surprise a mountain lion or a bear by now? Not that I really want to surprise one, but I figured the odds would be on my side. Or, not necessarily on my side, but you know, the odds are probable that I would run into one. Just one. This is almost 5,000 miles. And how many of that was at night? I mean, you know, definitely nowhere near 5,000. But what, you know, 700, 800? I don't even know. Maybe even more than that. Not a single freaking animal. <clears throat> well, a scary one on the trail itself. Run into deer all the time, but they, they don't count. They don't scare me anymore. I mean, still, when I see their eyeballs for a second, I get that little panic, but just for a second. Oh, cool. Some stars came out. That's a good sign. It is warmer. It doesn't mean it's not going to rain by any means. It's going to rain eventually. I guess just not right now. I think that's the beginning of the sun creeping up, or maybe the sky's just lightening a bit. But at least above me there's stars. Yeah, still a lot of clouds. I'll take it as a good sign. Maybe I'll get to see something interesting with the sunrise. I don't know where the top of this hill is. PCT's convoluted, man. Just because on the map it shows you've reached the peak and you're descending doesn't mean you reached the peak of anything. Just that small portion of the trail. You know, you're not necessarily at the top of something. But if it happened right here, I'd have a good view, but I won't be right here when it happens. That's not for another hour, hour and a half. That's the little warning sound those things throw out. Whoa, bird just died by my head. Uh, it's starting to get a little lighter in the sky. I have no idea how close to the top I am, but there's a, uh, a lot of rock between me and the top, it seems. Although, again, these trails don't really go to the top, so I never know when I'm going up and over or around. I'm betting this is around. That's way too steep to traverse. So I'm probably going all the way around the edge of that. And then back around the other side. No, this trail. Found a whole herd of elk. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18, 19, 20, 21 that I can see. Well, that explains all the hoof prints and piss all over the trail. And they come to a stop. He tells them what's up. And they're all just frozen in place now. And the one buck's still running around, making sure everybody's okay. Or maybe he's gonna come over and confront me, who knows. I'll fuck your ass up, Elk. I got a bunch of bow hunters behind me. You don't wanna mess with me. The bow hunters are funny. They're out here all in camo. They got camo painted across their faces. Uh, at the same time, all the fletchings on their arrows are brightly colored. So they have a rainbow assortment attached to their weapons. <laughs> they all look like they watch like Commando or something. If I be like, let's go hunt. Let's go hunt. Give me, give me some milk. To each their own, I never really understood the hunting thing. I mean, it made sense back when there weren't grocery stores. And now people give me all argument. Well, we got to control their population so they'll starve. No, that, that's our fault. If we didn't keep taking over their land, killing off the predators, because hunters often go out, go out and murder wolves and shit, bears, then no, we, we wouldn't have to keep them in check. We have to keep them in check because we're not in check. That's the best excuse anybody has. Hit me with a better one. Oh, hey, that ain't half bad, man. Decent color change. Happened to be a spot that doesn't have a bunch of trees, so. Man. There's mountains and clouds in the way, but you know what? I, I still get some color. I'll be pleased with what I got. 
And it's cool how that cloud is just hanging out on top of that mountain. Not moving at all. Now the clouds seem to be moving. Huh. A very still day. Good morning. Holy hell, what is this? Is that Rainier? Wow. Now them some glaciers. Holy crap. That's beautiful. I wonder what the top of it looks like. Oh, I'm gonna have to compare it to the picture I have over near. I have an official picture just to make sure they're the same. Does that look like the same mountain? Rainier beer? Um, yeah, yep, yeah, I'm going with it. That that looks the same. So normally this is about the time I would have second coffee because this is a pretty decent spot. Chilling right there. There's not much of a breeze. Oh, sitting on that log right there. The mountain's not pink anymore. What the hell? It was pink like two minutes ago. I don't know. But instead of second coffee, we're just going to have first beer. Shortcut bought this for me the other day. We were going to come up here and drink them, but I think she's asleep behind me somewhere. Lord knows. Everybody's faster than me, so. And everybody's tents look the same, so I passed a dozen tents on the way up here. But I don't know whose is whose. Uh, let's chill and relax, man. I guess I'd come around the corner pretty much the perfect time, because... Mountains disappearing behind clouds already. It's weird as you can taste clouds. Every time I walk into one, I can taste it. I'm not sure what clouds taste like, but they do have a, a taste. Different from fog. I don't think I've ever tasted fog. But I'm only slightly in the clouds right now. And as soon as I came around the corner was in them, I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yep, clouds. Can barely see the mountain. Whatever. That's okay. I'm still just going to sit here and drink for a bit. Temperature's dropped a good 15 degrees out. Smells like rain. But um, I haven't felt any rain. I see where a few drops have hit the ground. But nothing's hit me yet, so... Clouds look too thin to rain right now. I don't know why they're even falling. I guess it just got cold. They condensed and fell. Because temperature is dropping out here. Always does that when the sun comes up, though, especially in the colder places. I don't, know, I don't quite get it because it's quite the change. Whew, I had to put on my puffy and everything. <sighs> Snow, cold. Not my friends. Those are the only things that make me want to speed up right now. Oh, and I got a text from Rowdy from the AT. She was in Spokane, Washington, wherever the fuck that is. Um, and she says she's going to meet me out here, do some trail magic and shit like that. So that's pretty cool. Because, you know, I, as much as I like trail magic, her and Crazy Korea and a bunch of people hit me up. and like, dude, I'll come out and do trail magic for you. And that would be cool. Okay, but I would want you to come all the way out here to help me out. Like, if you had an agenda out here and you're doing something and you help me, but cool. But to come out here just to help me, I don't want that at all, man. Sounds like responsibility. I'd need to meet you in places and try to make it worth your while, you know, hang out. And I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what's expected, but, you know, I, I wouldn't want to put anybody through that. That's too much driving to bring trail magic. But she's already here, so I don't know exactly why she's on this coast. But hell, I'll, I'll hang out with her, man. Rowdy is good peeps. And she has a nice big van, man. I can probably sleep in it during a storm. Oh, yeah. Because it's going to storm. It's going to. I don't mind the storm so much. I, I mind the cold that, that comes with it. That's the killer. All right. Temperature's going back up. No, it's quick. I'll take it. Okay. I thought I was in the park earlier. Oh, yeah, this crisscross is in and out of the park, doesn't it? All right, so... Whew, just did a climb to get up here. Huh. So this is my second time in the park. I guess I went back out. Yeah, I was like on the left side of the mountain and boom, instantly went right back over to the right, which was totally cool in my opinion because the left side of the mountain was cold, man. Oh, I had to put on my orange gloves. And I didn't even bother putting on liners or anything because I was just trying to do it quick because my hands were freezing. 
It's much better now. I'm getting a little bit of blue sky. The sun's still hidden. He's hanging out with a cat. He's doing his triple crown. So, you know, he's almost done. Almost done. And he is just mentally and physically beat. And he's like, I would have quit several times and been like, fuck it, because triple crown doesn't mean as much to him anymore as it once did. You know, and he did it. He did his back to back to back, as I intend to do mine. Maybe I should have saved this easy ass trail for the last one, because <laughs> I have to imagine I'm going to be in a similar state, but on the CDT. You know, so then I'm going to be physically beat. Okay, so I'm going way lighter for that one. Way lighter. We can't be doing it. I'm not going ultra light by any means, but. Yeah, I gotta make it easy on myself, download some books of music and stuff like that so I don't go completely insane out there. Yeah, I'm already getting scared, but that's half the fun, isn't it? I might actually, you know, oh wow, getting a job and all that is scarier. That is not where I expected it to be. So that's way closer than I think it is if I walked all the way around it this quickly. I've only gone a few miles, I feel like. Huh. This is not the view I had earlier. Not even close. From where I was facing this morning, this is you know, the right-hand side of it. I hope those clouds break off eventually. I want to see that whole thing. I want to look at it and go enhance and zoom in on some glaciers, man. They didn't dump down their signs for me. Do I want to go to any of that stuff? Do I want to go to that stuff? Hmm. I'm thinking this trail looks more likely Check the maps in a minute. So I'm not doing too bad. I took quite a long safety break with Anvil, so. Um, but I've already got nine miles down at nine o'clock. They always seem to coincide, don't they? Normally it's even numbers. I like to get my eight by eight. That's one I like. Ten by ten isn't nearly as cool. Eight by eight is where it's at. Which I might have done that today. I don't know. I don't remember exactly where we took safety meeting at. Dude carries a bong with him. You gotta take advantage of that. It's a cool cat. I like hanging out with him. I'm surprised to run into him again, though. I mean, dude is way faster than me. Should have been done a while ago. He's slacking because he's just not there mentally right now. But, you know, he's almost done. Fuck. I still got a long way ahead of me. Mm hmm. And then, you know, finishing for me isn't the same. You know, it's different for everybody. Uh, he's got stuff waiting at home for him. You know, girl, job, stuff like that. I'm not going to have any of that shit. So I'm probably... If I'm going to be like this trail, I'm probably just not going to want to go back. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hike it. I'm going to get near the end and be like, wow, okay, triple crown. It's probably not going to feel as great as I want it to feel. You know, like, I don't know. I should be overwhelmed with emotion and start just bawling like a kid or something. But uh, somehow that will happen. But in any event, you know, it's more the fear of what do I do after? The after. As much as I don't want to think about it, how do you not think about something that has you mildly stressed out? The more you not think about it, the more you are thinking about it, so it's, it's moot. You gotta let the mind wander. But a lot of times it wanders back to what you're stressed about, so, yeah, vicious circle. Okay, so I got another view coming up in like a mile, it says. We'll see, huh? Mount Rainier's been hidden in clouds. Well, now it's got stuff between me and it. But since I got them photos this morning, it's pretty much been hidden. Sometimes completely. See? All them people that slept in today? No. Nope. Didn't get your view. Didn't get your view. I got it. I'm going to show off them pictures to you guys and rub it in. Aha. I got it when it was pink, man. Pink. Hmm. I can feel the sun through the clouds, though. that's nice. Might be time for a wardrobe change. I think I might be able to ditch the puffy. 
safety meeting. Ah, oh, good idea. At the top. At the top. There's been all these beautiful blue lakes. I mean, Shortcut tried to have a safety meeting by the last one. We found a little patch of sunshine, sat in it, but then sunshine went behind a cloud. Wind's kicked in, and it's cold right now, man. Being next to these lakes kind of hurts my fingers. I switched back to my hiking gloves, and I took my pants off. Oh, stumble. Took the puffy off, and now, you know, right now at least I'm regretting it, but I know once I get further away from this thing, it won't be so bad. The sun seems to be peeking out. I'm just in a forest. Just probably just bask in the sunshine for a bit while it's here, huh? Makes sense. The hikers coming down the way started yelling, Hey bear! Yeah bear! Clicking their sticks. It's, it's me. It's me. <laughs> well, we've got a huge parking lot and it's Sunday, so that would explain the extreme amount of day hikers out here. Man, I've literally passed like 80 people so far this morning. Being the busiest day so far on this trail, I'd have to say. I noticed all the tiny footprints and I knew I had to be somewhere near a... Good morning! Yeah, probably good. Good morning. Uh, and also, so, the fire's over on 12 anyway. Hmm. I see some pit toilets I'll go hit up. Maybe a little yogi situation going on. Nobody even has packs, so I doubt they have any food to get. So, kind of doubt it's even worth my time. But I always keep my eye open for an opportunity. It's quite a walk to get to these pit toilets, but when you see them, you get that Pavlovian response. So, I was like, fuck it, there may be a quarter mile or yeah, about a quarter mile off trail. Oh, I'm going to sit around there and make coffee. Just either that or take a nap, and this doesn't really look like a nappy spot, so might as well go for another coffee and cruise on up the trail. Oh, I ran into another uh, hiker from, I don't know what year he hiked this, but he lives in the area, but he gave me a soda. His name's Two Taps, so I appreciate that. He also told me a good place to get a really sweet, sweet view of Rainier, so... I'm headed down that way. I mean, it's still four or five miles away, but that, that, I'm headed that way anyway. So it turns out the trail walks right by those bathrooms. I road walked to the bathrooms because that's where I could see them from. And then I got back on the trail and went back to where I got off the trail. And then the trail's leading right, right, right by these bathrooms. Yeah, so I turned that quarter mile into about one, two, three, yeah, three quarters. Yeah. That's how I roll. Why not? Why not? I'm trying to string, lengthen this out a little bit, you know? Spend more time out here. Let's go the wrong way a little more often. If it wasn't for winter. It's probably what my nipples look like to normal people. <laughs> Normally being next to the road kind of sucks. But it's way down there. I can hear it but not see it anymore. But it's still a beautiful view. But this is creeping in, dun, 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 and it's cold. Ooh. I think tonight we might get rain. Kind of feels like it. I still have 10 more miles that I want to do. Done 15 so far. But, yeah, as usual, we'll see. It's where I want to get to, but if it starts looking like it's going to storm, I'm going to stop and set up. I'm not real good setting up that tarp yet. I mean, I'm pretty decent, but I haven't tried it in a windstorm, and you know, wind and rain go hand in hand. And I don't want to be doing it trying to keep my stuff dry and all that, so, you know, preemptive. Hopefully it gives me warning. Yeah, not five minutes later, it starts to sprinkle. Now I'm going to ride this out. This isn't it yet. I'm not stopping to put on any rain gear. It's good, like, really, like, let me know it's gonna rain. I think it's just gonna spit at me for a while. Maybe you'll get a rainbow though, huh? When's the last time I got one of those out here? Where's my rainbows? There weren't many rainbows on the AT either. For all it rained out there, man, for all it rained. I think I saw two rainbows. Crazy. Standing here at my water supply, I noticed that up here there is a large white animal that I don't believe will show up, but I can't really see my lens for the little bit of sunshine there is. But in that, let's see if we can see where is it. Oh, there we go. Boom. Like dead center. 
I don't know what it is, but it's definitely animal shaped. It hasn't moved yet, so maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It's just a log. Nope, no, it totally moved. Okay. <laughs> I know what it is. Too damn many trails around here. Came up that one. I went that one the wrong way. So I'm thinking it's this one. Maybe it's that one. I'm going to go for this one first because it's downhill. Uh oh, today might be the day for the first rain. It's sprinkling right now. Or maybe this is even a drizzle at this point. Ooh, look, look at that rock. See how wet that is? Yeah, I think it's time to stop putting on rain gear. Might have to officially call us number one if this lasts longer. I decided not to put on rain gear yet. It's still sprinkling, but just barely. I'm to the other side of the pass. I think this one was called Sourdough Pass. Still see the mountain way in the background. That's not the one I woke up at today, is it? I think it might be. This is just the way other side of it. I think that might be Mount St. Helens over there. I think. Whole different world over here. Oh, well, we got a couple trails. Mine's probably not the one leading down and across. Probably the one leading up and over. I'm gonna say hopefully there's a sign, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. That was like the fattest chipmunk I've ever seen. You are pudgy. His head's still normal size, so it makes him look weird. How do you get pudgy all the way out here? Hike your food. Digging what the sprinkles have done for the ambiance of the place after a hectic day of just day hikers everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Um, it's like time has come to a standstill right now. Looks like pretty mellow hiking from here on out. Well, at least mostly. Keep thinking about breaking about the rain gear, but then I'm like, nah, not yet. I just don't want to get caught in anything. But I'm lazy, I don't want to stop and change. I gotta take off my shoes and everything, you know? Get on them rain pants. Because this kilt is super absorbent. If I get it wet, I bet it weighs somewhere near like nine pounds. It's mostly cotton. There's my rainbow. It's weak and it's little, but it's a rainbow. It counts. Oh, I was way back up on that earlier. I can see the path. Oh yeah, that's a sourdough ridge. Or pass, sourdough pass. All right, so that is a big ass mountain I woke up next to, or four miles away from this morning. And, that's, and this is that fire from the other day. Smoke goes all the way behind that mountain. But it looks bigger than when I went by it. Like the smoke is thick in that spot. Probably. The winds from the almost storm yesterday. Or no, some storm might have hit over there. They work like that. It's been a really uphill day. I can see the path going around the side of that thing, but you know, uphill at an angle around that thing, so. It's uphill for another minute. I put on all the rain gear because it started raining. It did. I was like, I was going to call it as a rainy day. Like, it is number one. And I was pretty convinced it was. And then it stopped like right after that. Whatever. So now I got my spaceman outfit on. And I knew it looked like that. But others have, uh, they, they, they've told me the same. I didn't, you know, I didn't ask them. I just walked by and like, you look like a spaceman. So I've been dancing like the robot. That's what I do. 
I gotta change again, man. Hold on, is there a storm coming in? Let's turn it around. This is really narrow as shit, man. <sighs> um, of course I can't see very far. But no, I'm not seeing a storm. Okay, shit, that got me dizzy. Woo, I did it though. You have no idea. <laughs> it never looks as scary as it is. But, you know, I work on it. I freak myself out a little bit. Do stuff like stare straight down at the bottom while I walk. It used to make me dizzy as hell to do that. Now I can stumble along and do it. I'm not quite hiking, I'm stumbling. Maybe that's not the PCT. Maybe that's an animal path. It doesn't look very well defined. That would be cool, because I don't like it, the looks of it at all. So yeah, it's not it. It's gonna go around up and over this thing. That's made, that makes sense. All right, so downhill's coming up. Ah, see, everything works out in the end. I made it to the top of the next one. This one's interesting, because it goes back the way we came. Um, so we came up from over here, circle around, we go back, and then back over on the other side of the mountain, where we'll do a bunch of stuff for a while, and we're gonna come out over here. I can totally see the trail that leads into the burn section. And then I don't know where it goes from there. Interesting. Man, should I change clothes? Yeah, if I get wardrobe change. You know, it's gonna get cold right after that, but fuck it, I'm sweating. Nope, nope, never mind that mountain way back there is not the one I was at earlier. It's hidden up in the clouds in there. Okay, I was like, I couldn't have walked that far. That thing's so big it can hide in the clouds. But I see some glaciers sticking through, man. Alright. I'm still pretty far, but you know, not, not that far. <laughs> I've made it to the top of the next pass-ish thingy. And I'm willing to bet. Ah, yeah, I see downhill from here on around. Nice. Although I lose the trail at that point, I can't see it anymore. But that's cool. Downhill, I can use some of that. Ooh, man, look at the devastation. That's just burned, standing dead out there. Wow, yeah, this whole valley. Okay, check the weather. Looking pretty good, man. Clouds are moving kind of fast. Okay, no. let's hope a storm doesn't blow in. Bound to happen. Still have zero storms under my belt. That one didn't count today, right? When I thought it was going to count, because, you know, the ground did start getting a wet layer on it. But it didn't get wet. But, yeah, I called a little early. The trail tricked me today, man. Made me change clothes way more often than I wanted to. I'd probably be at camp right now if I didn't stop to change clothes so often. Oto, such is life. Ah, oh, here's home for the night. It's gonna be tricky sneaking out. There's people everywhere, so. It's pretty silent. I'm gonna be lazy and not hang up my rain tarp. I'm gonna use it as a neck pillow tonight because I don't feel like breaking it down tomorrow. It's even noisier. I'm just gonna hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> if it does, I'm just gonna set up and break down and head on out a little earlier than usual.